How are you team, welcome again at Ray Prime TV. The channel that gives you local content. On this channel we focus on, Zimbabwe politics, religious updates, social updates and economic updates. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Vuyo Zungula, the head of the African Change Development, ATM, a South African resistance ideological group, has kept in touch with the Free Discretionary Commission, IEC, over ZANU-PF's supposed contribution in noticing South African decisions. South Africa is set to hold public and commonplace races on the 29th of May, 2024 in the midst of signs that South Africa's decision ANC has welcomed its Zimbabwean partner, ZANU-PF, to battle for its benefit and partake as a spectator mission during the races. In a letter dated the 10th of May, 2024, addressed to IEC's Masutu Moepia, Zungula said permitting ZANU-PF to notice South Africa's races gambles discalloying the authenticity and believability of the country's discretionary cycles. Peruses the letter, I keep in touch with you as the leader of the African Change Development, ATM, to communicate our grave worries in regards to ongoing reports demonstrating that ZANU-PF, the decision party of Zimbabwe, expects to take part as a feature of an onlooker mission for the impending races in South Africa. We unequivocally denounce the thought of ZANU-PF being permitted to notice our races for a few huge reasons. Right off the bat, Zimbabwe has a factual history of electing negligence and electoral misrepresentation as of late, which genuinely sabotages the validity of any constituent cycle they are engaged with. Permitting ZANU-PF to notice our races gambles discolowing the authenticity and validity of our own constituent cycle. Zimbabwe has confronted serious difficulties in directing free and fair decisions, as proven by reports from different global associations throughout the long term. Besides, allowing ZANU-PF to notice our decisions isn't just disturbing because of their history, yet additionally, as a result of their nearby relationship with the decision party in South Africa, the African Public Congress, ANC. Late reports have proposed that the ANC has looked for help from ZANU-PF in their political race. This brings up difficult issues about the unprejudiced nature and autonomy of any perception mission including ZANU-PF in South Africa. Accordingly, we encourage the Free Electing Commission of South Africa to dismiss any support of ZANU-PF in the perception of our races. All things being equal, we suggest drawing in nations and associations with laid-out histories of maintaining popularity-based standards and leading free and fair decisions. We must protect the respectability of our constituent cycle and maintain the trust of the South African individuals in our popularity-based foundations. Permitting ZANU-PF to take part in any way would subvert these key standards. We believe that the IAC will give due thought to our interests and make a proper move to guarantee that the forthcoming races in South Africa are led in a straightforward, trustworthy, and fair-minded way.